as a young soldier, I met the Queen. And um, I, immediately before meeting the Queen, I'd been in a dugout firing an 81 millimetre mortar. I was all cammed up, face, hands. Um, and um, immediately after doing that, I made my way up to where the stands were and joined some other young soldiers. Um, they gave us a pair of white gloves to put on and um, Her Majesty spoke to us. Yeah. Yeah. Did she say anything about the, the, the camouflage or anything? No, 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 she didn't. She didn't. She just gracefully shook my hand. And... It's very, very sad that we've lost our Queen. And it's very, very sad for her family, especially so. Um, but I honestly rejoice in my heart that the Queen is at home with the Lord in heaven. And Jesus would have greeted her with the words, well done, good and faithful servant. That means a huge amount to me, huge amount. I long for the day that, that the Lord says that to me. And I know he has said that to Her Majesty. And she's at home now and she's at peace. No one comes to the Father but by me. I, I, I'm very lucky I met her twice and uh, she was uh, profound. That's a good word, isn't it? <laughs> she, uh, when, you, when you spoke to her, as soon as she opened her mouth, you knew you were in the presence, presence of somebody very special. Uh, and she had that effect on everybody. But I'm sure you're aware that we, we all yeah. swore an oath to Her Majesty, her heirs and successors. So we're not released from it by her death. We carry on uh, honouring the King uh, Charles III now, and, uh, and William and Duke Horse, and then George and Duke. Well, I'll probably not see them on the throne, but um, I may just see uh, my time out with the King, the present King.